Our next guest, one of the funniest men in the world, and I can personally vouch for that. I have the honor of working with him every single week, cracks me up all the time. And he'll be appearing at Cobb's Comedy Club in San Francisco, December 26th through the 31st. Um, he's a great guy. I don't have to say anything else. Let's take a look. And now, over to my co-anchor, homie. <laughs> yo, 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 what's the sheezy? <laughs> I want to get some shouts out to my people over in Glendale, California. Yeah, that's right. I got a baby girl named Linda. Uh-huh. She's rolling tonight at the Taco Bell. We got more stories, but there's stuff to do, so we're going to keep on flipping. Greg, it's proof. You all right? Oh, yeah, I'm good, good. Right? Yeah. Thank you so much for coming on the show, man. My pleasure, man. It's so nice to see you all fancy with a set and a band and stuff like that. Yeah, man. Because on whose line, you know, we just got some boxes and the same old set from 1984. <laughs> <laughs> no, but with the boxes, we have to make stuff up. Yeah. This week, it's a box. Yeah. This week, it's a bigger box. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming. You, uh, you are one of the busiest men. Always man, I can that. and forever. <laughs> Each moment, we oh, everybody was singing. I thought I'd break up. It's a little different when Tisha does it. Yeah, it is a little it, different. It's, it's not as sexy as when I do it, quite frankly. No, 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 because your voice has the sesky, the, the sesky. It is a sesky quality. It's, it's, excuse me, I've got to take a little more. Mm -hmm. mm. You know, Christmas is the best time for drinking in the morning. <laughs> Oh, that peppermint schnapps really takes the edge off. Yeah. I'm going to leave some out for Santa Claus yeah. later on. Yeah. You've been really busy. What you been up to, man? I, I haven't seen you lately. I was in New York a couple of weeks ago. I we went with Drew Carey and the boys. We went out to do a benefit for uh, Michael J. Fox's uh, Parkinson's Foundation. But there was another... Oh, yeah. There was another reason, you know, uh, as you know, I'm from the mean streets of uh, Harlem. Uh, right. 125th Street in Amsterdam. Represent. Oh, dude, I would never front. And, um, <laughs> you know, because I'm, even though I'm on TV now and then, yeah. I'm still Greg from the block. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, I used to have a little and, you know, now I got, got a, a lot. lot. Right. And, uh... People are tripping because, you know, I'm better than them and they can't deal with it now. And, uh, but I, I like to go back and visit my home slices and sort of get to what's real. Uh, even though, you know, it's all large for me now and it's all about the... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even though I got the boot high working, uh, I try to stay normal. You know what I mean. I, I'll right, do right. my own laundry occasionally. I'll actually talk to my gardener if he's not too sassy. No, that's good, man. You, out of everyone I know, you are the realest of the real. Thank you, buddy. Yes, yeah. You are so weird. Um, you're also on a USO tour? Yeah, we went to uh, Bosnia and Kosovo uh, over Thanksgiving with Drew wow. Yeah, people from Bosnia in the house? Huge in Bosnia. Huge. yeah. Nishta. Uh, oh, I thought people from Kosovo were here. Um, you were just throwing up Kosovo gang signs. Yeah, you know, uh, I'm all about Vukovar in the house. Um, we, uh, <laughs> yeah, we went there and we were doing uh, uh, improv for the USO, uh, for the army troops there. And they're so nice, man. I mean, they're doing a tough job. They're stuck in all these far-flung places, far from home over the holidays and stuff like that. And there is a modicum of danger still, I will tell you, in Bosnia. Not for us and our costed Hollywood ass, but uh, for the soldiers that were there, you know, they have to... There's still 40,000 landmines unexploded in the country and there's stuff Jeez. going on. So the, those guys are cool and, you know, we love doing it. Drew, you know, was in the Marines, right? Yeah. And they, they, uh, they gave him a citation, some of the Marines, and... Um, he said he'd never finished the obstacle course when he was actually in the Marines. Was he able to do it now? Well, no, but he did win the pie-eating contest. <laughs> um, but you don't get a special ribbon for that. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <Burp>. <laughs> yeah. Hammer them pies down, Carrie. 
when you guys were abroad, did the folks in, 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 uh, in, in Kosovo and in those other places, are they really aware of all the lunacy that we have going on with Winona and Michael Jackson and all that stuff? <laughs> it's not the number one thing on their plate, but I love it, man. It was hard following it when I was over there. Winona's my hero because um, she pulled an inventory tag off of a dress That's with hard. her bare hands. I don't know if you've ever accidentally brought something home and it still has the tag on it. You can't get it off with a sledgehammer. No. You could run a train over it and not get it off. And yet her, in her depressed, deluded, drugged out state, in the miasma of her despair, and she's on oxycodone, which is the strongest narcotic in the world. You're only given oxycodone if your spine is severed by baboons. <laughs> and is dragged across salt, because that's how... Oxycodone is so strong, Keith Richards goes, No, I can't, you know. And yet... In her state, she was... She has the strength of a bull orangutan, you know? She ripped that tag off, blood shooting everywhere. She didn't even feel it. She's awesome. Really awesome. I'm bringing her... <laughs> and she's only like four foot eleven, you know? No. I mean, that's some strength, man. <laughs> <laughs> because it's true. <laughs> um, before I let you go, man, I've got to ask a question yeah. that, that I've been meaning to ask the uh, people in charge of Who's Line. Uh, What's up with our time slot? Uh, we moved uh, because no one was watching us. And... Uh, <laughs> I joke, of course. We were on Monday night, so we were getting interrupted by, like, Steelers Roundup for a while. Right. Uh, but now we, uh, we're on Friday nights at 9. That's where we've landed. So it's Fridays now. at 9, because I'm checking. Yeah. Because week by week, my mom calls, and she right. doesn't know, and I, and I can't tell her, because I have no clue. Right, right. All your relatives are hacked off at you because they think your show's on, and it ain't anymore. But it is. It's on Friday at 9, except for tonight, which I think is Charlie Brown's Christmas tonight. <laughs> which I'm gonna... One funny man, this is Greg Poop. Look out for Greg, please. Watch his line so we can have a job. Yes, please. And we'll be right back.